Hi and welcome to MRTV on tour. I'm here in Prague, Czech Republic, where I'm going to check out the premiere of Ready Player One. And as you can guess, I am super, super excited about it. And well, before I'm going to watch it, I'm going to interview some viewers of the movie, what they think before, and then I'm going to ask them about their impressions after we've watched the movie. So this is going to be really, really exciting. Before I go into the movie, let me tell you about my expectations. So obviously, I'm super excited about the movie. I've read the book, I've listened to the audiobook, and uh, well, I loved it. I, I just can't imagine how it's going to be well, as a Steven Spielberg movie. So my expe expectations are very high. I must uh, be honest with you guys. So let's see if my expectations are met or not. But anyways, now I'm going to ask some other people how their expectations are. Let's go with this one. All right, uh, yeah, we are just about going to watch the Ready Player One right. premiere. So um, tell us, what are your feelings about about going into it? I mean, after reading the book, I've been waiting for this movie for quite some time. And uh, um, I hope it will be great. Steven Spielberg hopefully will not do a bad job. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he will do a good job. So. Okay. So Expectations are pretty high. Pretty high, yeah, yeah, for me too. So you have read the book? I have read the book several times, actually. I also listened to an audio book. And many things inspired Somnium as well from the book. So okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, you know the, the content of, the, of everything very well, obviously. Yes, and I know that they changed some things okay. in the movie because they were not able to fit it in the, in the, in the, in the movie like the, it is in the book. But overall, I think it will be great, great fun. Okay. Is it a problem for you that they probably that Spielberg changed something? Depending how they did it. Okay. I don't have a problem with that, but if they did it well and it fits to the content, then it's all, everything is fine. Okay. So um, how would you rate the book from 1 to 10? I would definitely will give it 9 or 10. Okay, yeah, that's Very pretty high. Higher. Okay, so then probably your expectations for the movie are also like from 1 to 10? Where Yeah, he better do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> so your expectations are really high? Pretty high, yeah. Pretty okay, high. yeah, and uh, excitement level? Yes. 11. 11. Can it be 11? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> so okay. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Okay, Looking awesome. Forward. Perfect. Okay, great. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. Ciao. All right, yeah, so we are about to watch the Ready Player One premiere. How yes. are you feeling about it? Are you excited or...? Super excited. It's, uh, you know, it's one of the first movie, I think, really putting VR on the spotlight. And uh, it's one of my inspiration for building the metaverse, oh, yeah. uh, as we talked earlier. So, exactly. uh, yeah, super excited to see how it comes from a book into a movie. Perfect. So, um, you have, have you read the book? I've read the book, yeah. Yep. Awesome. So, how did you like the book? I thought, that, you know, it's for me. What was really amazing was the level of details in which it gets into about like the culture yeah. uh, that it creates around the around the book. And I really love this kind of ideas because it really helps you identify with the movie and exactly. um, in, in the, with the book in yes. this case, and almost play a movie in your head already. So I'm kind of looking forward to see if uh, this movie is what I thought the book should be. Perfect. So. Um, um, Spielberg changed some things. Um, are you um, afraid of that, or, um, or no, how do you feel not about really? It? I think you know it's uh, he's going to make his own interpretation, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to see how it looks on the screen. Okay, let's see how it goes. All right, so we have just watched the movie. Yes, what is what is the, what is the, your first impression now? What do you think? Um, Pretty heavy change from the book uh, yes. for the for the fans. I mean, great effects and great um, great callback to, to the to the pop culture and also to the games. You see many characters from the games, from the movies, which we know, which we love. But yes. For me, it was much more changed uh, from the original uh, than I expected. All right. And I'm wondering whether you know what is the target audience after that? Okay, we we will love it anyhow. Uh, you know, even if they will just say all the time, VR, 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 but in, in general, I'm, I'm trying to understand who will be the target audience and will will it help to, for the VR sales? Mm. I'm not sure actually that mm. we will help the VR to take, to take uh, off mm. and mm -hmm. to actually be more popular because, yeah, this movie was more about adventure and action mm -hmm. than about the uh, uh, virtual reality itself. Yeah, true. Got it. So. From what you say, I feel uh, probably a, li a little disappointment, perhaps. From yeah. I mean, we, we went into that movie like with that expectation of exactly. ten, right? Exactly. So, and I think the, the biggest disappointment, the movie and the actors, I think they did a great job. But the disappointment is the disappointment is coming from the the fact that I cannot imagine the target audience 
and this is what I said, I don't think this movie will help to popularize VR so much. Okay. Maybe it's a first step, maybe they had to take it like that. Um, but I expected more to, you know, more details into 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 this VR thing, how you operate it, and maybe you know, not just some mm -hmm. shots. And mm -hmm. I was waiting for some different shots, for example, which I didn't see. They they jumped through the mm -hmm. through the screen play quite heavily. Mm -hmm. In overall, I think it's a good movie, mm -hmm. but I still cannot wrap my head up who would go. Who is it for what, now? Who, yeah, exactly. What what is what is the what is the follow up? Who will who will buy what and why? You know, that's that's a little bit um, not understandable for me. In this get movie. it, get it. Yeah. It's it's really quite different, right? From 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 the book, a lot. Ernest, come on! Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it's 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 different from the book, and I don't know whether it's better or good, because many people will watch the movie they didn't read the book. Yeah, exactly. And for them, it will be a completely different movie and story than for us. So exactly. we're kind of in two different planets. Yeah. Uh, we cannot understand each other. Exactly. For, for me, it was a bit like um, when I realized it's so different. Okay, then I thought like, oh. Probably I should switch my mind and see this as a totally different movie right. and try to try to enjoy it on a different level, right? But uh, yeah, it's did not you succeed? Uh, honestly speaking, not really. Okay. Yeah. It's, it is. I mean, uh, we'll see how people will take it and yeah. how many how many people will go there. But exactly. Uh, hey, we got some haptic feedback uh, and, and this trackers. And all yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so there are some cool cool things in the movie. Yes. Right. So. Um, what do you think now, um, for, for the people who are not into VR, mm -hmm. how far away um, are we from, from the Oasis? How far now, our VR that we have now? I think this movie proved me, or oh, not me, I think movie proved that the general public is still further than I thought. The technology and the, the, the VR worlds are closer, we can do it, I mean, we, it's already here. You can immerse yourself and believe what you're seeing, but the general public is still further away than I hoped that they will be from after today. Okay, but you say like actually we can do things that we saw today in the movie. We can do a lot of we things. Can do it. Yeah, I lot, mean, you know it from VR. You, yeah, you, you take it on, you believe what you see. Exactly. Your brain is strict. Exactly. And that's the magic. That's okay. The magic. So, um, would you still advise people to watch the movie? Even though personally you are like a bit disappointed? But absolutely, because again, for us this is, uh, this is something different than for 99.9% .9 of the people. Exactly, so, because we and I think uh, many people would just like it, because that's a nice movie, well-made movie. True. Um, and I would not uh, say no, just yeah. go and watch the movie. Okay, cool. It's a good one. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Arthur. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right, so we've just watched the movie, and um, tell me your first impressions. I thought it was a great, you know, entertainment. Um, if you haven't read the book, it's yeah. probably a really great, great action movie. Um, for me, I've read the book and I was expecting something maybe slightly different, less okay. uh, changed between the book and the movie. Yes. Um, also, from a, you know someone that works in VR, I noticed that they actually don't say the word virtual reality even okay. once, oh, really? Uh, really? which really? I thought was okay. quite interesting, unless okay. I missed it. Okay. Um, and so. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was kind of hoping that this um, this movie will help make the whole industry a bit more popular. But I think they really didn't focus on, you know, the headset and mm -hmm. and, and the good things you can do mm -hmm. with virtual reality, but more on the other way. As you can see at the end, uh, well, I'm not going to explain the yeah, end of the movie, <laughs> but you, you remember. Yeah, no. So, um, so yeah, I think it was great entertainment, probably not as, you know, that relevant for, for the industry itself. Okay, yeah, true probably people will not really realize actually that we are very close to that right. what, we, what we have in the movie right 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 they're just thinking about uh, yeah the story a bit but not really about VR that's what I think absolutely okay. yeah yeah but um, would you still advise uh, the, um, people to watch it or would you say oh no don't need you don't need to watch it I think I would advise people to watch it yeah. because you know then you can have a discussion and saying actually we are building Exactly. Things like We're this, even right if you now, don't right? realize that's actually VR. It's happening. Um, it's happening. And I also thought what was interesting was that their visor was also transparent. So I guess he was suggesting more of a mixed reality type of experience. Okay, exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's very futuristic, but yeah. I feel like content-wise, you know, we, we're not too far off. We're seeing a lot of really interesting rigs and haptic suits already. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's a great interpretation of how the future could be. Okay. So what do you think? How far are we from that future that we saw in the movie? I mean, from the reality, that what we can do? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to say exactly. Okay. I mean, with the pace of progress over the past few years you know it's not too far until I guess we we're getting a um, you know better screen and better better haptics mm -hmm. um, I just feel like 
the adoption, you know, we're trying to make it simple for people to use. Mm -hmm. And this kind of rigs is probably, you know, only for, for hardcore gamers and enthusiasts. So yes. um, to reach a point where the, the entire population mm -hmm. is immersed in that <laughs> way, it would um, probably take, you know, crisis like in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so people have no reason to live in the real world. Get it. So it's, uh, it's a balance. Okay, great. So now, um, before the movie, I've asked you like your expectations, and now tell me what do you think of the movie from one to ten? One to ten, uh, probably put around seven. I would yeah, say seven ish. Uh, so yeah. you know, I was entertained. Yeah. Um, probably less. You know, when when you read a book, you expect to see certain things, and mm -hmm. some of these didn't happen. But mm -hmm. overall, it was a great great experience. It was a fun movie, right? Fun movie, yeah, fun absolutely. Movie. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Good. For all people who are watching this right now and who are thinking, um, do you should I watch the movie? I think we all think yes. They should. Yeah. They, should um, they should watch the movie, right? It's a good action movie. But if you have watched, uh, if you have read the book, or if you listen to the audiobook, go into that movie not with too high expectations. Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's nice. I think that's good advice. And um, for all of those viewers who have never tried a headset, try VR. It is incredible, it is really fantastic, and actually will be there what you see in the movie very, very soon. And yeah. I guess it will help to make the world a better place. Yeah, you know, I hope so. There are many things you can yeah. do with that. Yeah, so actually I think, really, just try VR. It is uh, so exciting. Read the book probably, right? Because, uh, well, it's so much better right. than <laughs> the movie. Definitely read the book yes. and listen to the audiobook and simply find out what is there right now. There are incredible experiences. There are people like those two here who are building the stuff that is um, happening in the movie. There are fantastic experiences and games out there right now. So definitely, definitely check it out. And yeah, again, I want to say thank you guys. Yeah, for, oh, everything for you to, for to, uh, to uh, run this show here <laughs> and to invite us all to Prague. And yeah, thanks to you also for, for working together and on the, on the real races. And um, yeah, guys, if you want to know more about what these guys are doing, I'm going to link both of their products and projects in the description below. And that's it for today. That's it for this Ready Player One special show on Mixed Reality TV. And as always, if you enjoyed this, I would appreciate the thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. And we're looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye.